This is Micah 2 verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Now, let's lock you. Let's go back and let's read verse two. And they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. Okay. Yeah, going, yep, going right back into it, all right? Because this is what they're doing. They try to make a man an offender for a word. And we all know, you know, you know who I'm talking about. The Ish people, the 1948ers, the Balf uh, Floor, uh, Balfour Declaration. You see? The small hatters, right? Check this out. This is hurtful to all of us. And as a man of faith, it is wrong to promote hate-based race, ethnicity, or yeah. religion. How the fuck is this hate? Go ahead. No, no but it's they like, call the uh, other people Goya. Which really means, in the, in the, in the, in the, which really means that the rest of you ain't shit, y'all cat. Right. Yeah. At the same time, you um, you free your public school systems with um, 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 uh, 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 discrepancies of historical events that actually happened, man. Uh, right. Why? Talking about that, we came over here as um, a free man people to be slaves, right? You're discounting the uh, trail of tears, right. the amount of people that died on the transatlantic slave trade coming over here, man. Right. How you got the land from the Indians, somebody you got a fair trade, uh, uh, fair and square, when you poisoned them, you gave them smallpox, all right, and all the other things, right? But these are taught in all the books in all of America, man. Why don't you read those to the camera? Because what does that say? Jewish slave ship owners. Go ahead, read it, brother. Abigail, Crown, Don, Four Sisters. Uh, it goes on to the owners of Aaron, Lopez, Moses, Levi, Jacob, Franks, Isaac, Levi, Nathan, Simpson, Moses, Levi, and then the ethnicity says all the way on down, Jews, Jews, Jew, Jew, Jews. Right, and it says the name of the ships and who owns them. All right, now mark my words. Information like this is getting ready to get scrubbed from the internet. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, when you Google yokes of irons, they're going to remove Negroes and yokes of iron. Somebody Google it right now. Just Google yokes of iron on, on, and, and give me at least seven different phones. Seven let's is go. the number of completion. Let's, let's go. go. Let's, let's Google it yokes and see. Yokes of iron. Yokes of iron. Yeah, and, and we'll just put, put them all to the count. And let's see if, if any any of uh, these names we just read, any gold smiths, gold blooms. <laughs> You got it, bring it up, brother. Don't wait. This is number one. That's the first one. Let me go like this. You next. Mm -hmm. There's a Negro. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's pivotal. Here, that's there you go. It's focusing. You got that. Okay, go to it. Number two. Mm -hmm. See? You got the Negroes. Then you got. And then they're trying to make it black. See, they're giving disinformation. Native Americans. Be because they're referring to us as black Hebrew Israelites, and we call ourselves Hebrew Israelites. This isn't a black thing, all right? This isn't a color thing. This is about the 12 tribes, all right? And the scattered, all right? We got we got brothers amongst us that are not so-called white. I mean, they're, they're, black. They're, that look white, okay? And, and Asian and all, all, all manner of people among, uh, amongst us are our people, man. Next one. That was number two. Let me get the next. Big ass iPad. <laughs> See that shit 4K, baby. That shit real. <laughs> right. You can't really see that yoke, but that's a good one, though. Turn it around, brother. You want to show it to me? Show it to them. <laughs> ah, number four. <laughs> And it's got the verse down there, Deuteronomy 28 and 48. You look at the verse, it tells you. It gives you the breakdown. It's showing you the scriptures. All right, next, number five. Next. Powerful imagery right there. 
and the scripture. Deuteronomy 28 40. This one say important. Uh, Number six. Bring it up, brother. Say it again. It say the importance of obedience. Oh, <laughs> what? No, that's true. Because we that's disobeyed. Crazy, right. Number seven. Shit. We disobeyed the Heavenly Father, and this befell us pursuing back to the prophecy, man. That's right. All right? And that, that did not happen to uh, uh, Matsu. Now, 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 what's going to exactly? It did not happen to them. So, what's going to happen is you're going to see a lot of the, what you just saw. A lot of that stuff is getting ready to begin to, begin to be scrubbed from the internet. All right, so you saw that. I mean, hey, the elders, the elder and the brothers was going in, okay? Now, he, they were talking about, uh, uh, what's his name, Kyrie Irving, you know, and how he's made anti, uh, you know, Shem, <laughs> which is uh, you know, sort of an oxymoron here, but, uh, uh, you know, statements and whatnot. And they're telling, hey, you got to back that up. It's so hurtful, blah, blah, blah. What's the first thing they do? Go into the, uh, the, the Holocaust, right? You know? No mention of the scriptures. See, that's the, that's, the, that's the thing that they cannot deal with us. They can't deal with us with the scriptures, man. They can't, they, they're not going to come and get this work. So they call it misinformation. They're trying everything to keep y'all asleep. You know, and as the elder said, and it, it, there it is, they, and they call you goyim. Which basically means nothing, nobodies. When the scripture said they nobodies, said all the nations are nobodies, but the Hebrew Israelites, man. Let's go into this. Misinformation. Misinformation. False or inaccurate information. <laughs> Especially that which is deliberately intended to deceive. Now, what information are we bringing out? Here we are bringing out history. Thousands of years of history. And filtering it all through the scriptures that Yahweh Bashim Yahshua put in front of us for our learning, as the scripture said, right? You see that? Okay, that word deceive, what does that word deceive go into? Let's just read some scriptures about it. What is this right here? Revelation 12 and verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth, which did what? Deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into, into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Now we know that is going into him uh, fighting in the heavens. And, the, and those angels that are cast out with him are his, uh, uh, you know, s s uh, space weapons, if you will, and his, and his uh, fighter jets. All them, all those kind of things, man. You see? They were cast out with him, man. They durst fight, but be terrified. All right? Let's continue on. That little clip, I had to get that clip out. It was powerful. That was powerful. Let's go back here. Uh, verse 16. Yes, verse 16. Let's uh, see. Nope. Let's go back. Let's go to uh, Job 12 and verse 12. With the ancient is wisdom. See, the ancient. He has no time. Yahweh has no time. You see? That's why the kingdom is forever and ever and ever and even ever. And in length of days, understanding. 13. With him is wisdom and strength. He have counsel and understanding. He has what? Counsel and understanding. The greatest counsel is this is Emmanuel, the Bible. Verse 14, behold, he breaketh down and it cannot be built again. You see, he shutteth up a man and there can be no opening. You see, verse 15, behold, he withholdeth the waters and, the, and, uh, and they dry up. See, he withholdeth the waters in it and they dry up. Ooh, that reminds me of the Mississippi River, man, which has all kinds of, which, uh, you know, Babylon, America has all kinds of ties back to Egypt. It's spirit, hell, it's spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Also, he sendeth them out and they overturn the earth. Verse 16, with him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. You see? Didn't the scripture say the Lord is in the mind of the kings? He turn it, turn it wherever so he will. I probably butchered that. Salakia. So Let's go here. Revelation 12 and verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power. The Israelites, not those fake people that can't prove anything. They just run right back to the anti 
anti-Sim, Shim, Salakia, in the Holocaust, and that's it. It's so hurtful. Don't do that. Oh, my goodness. When they don't fit none of these curses. None of them. That's why they don't stay occupied in prophecy. Whoop. And the kingdom of our power, the power of Hamashiach Yehawashai, you know, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused him before our power day and night. You see? Beautiful. See all these videos going up? You see that? That's through the spirit and power of Yehawabah Shem Yehawashai. See? No man can shut it. No man can open it. It's all through the spirit of Yehawabah Shem Yehawashai, man. This is a beautiful thing, man. Let's go. You see, prophecy. 2 Peter 1 verse 21. The prophecy came not in the old time by the will of man, but by the holy men of the, uh, uh, of the Most High. Spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit, the Rakakwadash. See, as they were moved. What, what has got us making these epistles daily? What has got us going out to the highways and byways? It's the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to profess the truth upon this earth. Let's go. Salaki, I didn't mean to yell in your ear like that. I get excited. I get turned up by these scriptures. I get turned all the way up. Amos 3 and verse 7. Surely the Lord our power will do nothing, but he reveals his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. You see? He's gonna he, he's revealed his secrets. Oh, and there's he's got more for us in the kingdom. He said the laws and everything is going to be written on our foreheads and we can't go off, man. The water, the water, the water to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. You see that? You see? Let's go. Let's go. Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. These people are fake. They know they're fake and they're shaking in their damn boots, man. You see? Uh, they, they're going to try to cut it all off. Matter of fact, I got another little clip I'll show you. They're going to try to cut all this off. You know, but Yahabashim Yahashai said, I will feed them. He said, we have nothing to fear. Jeremiah 17 and verse four, and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage. We come, come to find out. They said they've always known who they were. Well, they don't fit this. They don't fit these prophecies. And we all know it and they know it. The only people who don't know it or refuse to hearken to the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are two thirds and the damn two time loser Edomites, man. You know, along with these other heathen nations that are just stuck and thinking they're going to be good, China's going to be the next superpower. Russia's never going to hit them buttons. You know? And in the meantime, you got, you got the likes of, uh, what was it, uh, uh, Saudi Arabia wanting to join the BRICS nations. Amongst all those other uh, uh, little countries and, and, and places and regions. That's why uh, uh, in uh, Jeremiah, it said, therefore, the nations are mad. Jeremiah 51, I believe. If I'm wrong, please correct me. It said, therefore, the nations are mad because they, everybody, everybody found out that this place is full of shit. You see, Jeremiah 17 and verse 4, and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Hey, we pissed him off. So what did he do? Go, to, uh, go no further than uh, Deuteronomy 28 chapter. What did he do? He put us low. All those curses fit the Hebrew Israelites. Not Amalek, not Esau, which is one and the same. You know, not Ishmael, Ham, none of these damn people, man. Moab, none of them. It fits us. You know, where's uh, uh, where's a uh, Rabbi Ficklestein and, and, and uh, 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 you know, whatever the hell their names are. Where they where they at in the highways and byways? You don't see that, do you? You don't see it. Hmm. Rosenberg, where they at? Didn't the, didn't the scripture say uh, uh, when, the, when the end is near, he's going to send out his prophets to speak to the children of Israel and bid them to the marriage as many as they shall find? Well, where the hell is everybody at? It's clear to see this the end. Even the pork chop preachers, where are y'all at? You stuck in the, uh, stuck up in the harlot houses uh, gathering tithes. Hmm? 
and saying the laws have been done away with. We're going to be fine. You, you, you learned that from your damn, from the slave master. You, you, you boy, I hope there's a lot of so I need to hold my tongue sometimes. I wanted to say something. This is Isaiah 14 and verse two. Let's let, let's go. Let's go to verse one for the Lord. Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob, not Amalek. You see, and will choose and will yet choose Israel and will set them in their own land. I don't know. I don't know about you, but we haven't seen your come back yet. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, which are the Israelites. Verse two, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord, Yahweh, where the he what came back and, and put us back in. For servants and handmaids, that's slaves. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Who were the people who uh, uh, oppressed the, the, the Ish people? Why are they back in that land? And why do they not have slaves? You know, I mean, in, in a way they do have slaves, which is us. That's part of the curses. Baruch 3 and verse 8, we are yet this day in our captivity. But you don't see them having, you don't see them having superpowers, you know, flying around or what. Now, you know, however, how about Shem Yahshua is going to do it? Having new bodies, you know, their new Jerusalem hasn't came down yet. From watching the destruction that's going to happen upon Babylon and other places. You haven't seen that. These people are liars. And to whom it may concern, take, hearken to the word. Hearken to the word. What we got here? Look at that. Who's reading that? What is that? When did the Bible say we got to make a whole nother book or change his uh, his words? I forget what the guy's name is, but he decided to put in vows and do all because, you know, hey, the pure language, as the scripture said, which wasn't good enough for him. Why? Because he's a damn heathen. Amalek, Amalek did that, man. Hebrew versus Yiddish. And I even hate the word Yiddish. It don't even sound right. What's the difference? We know what the difference is. One's a bastardized language and one's a pure language. I'm not even going to read none of that garbage. Not going to read it. Matter of fact, here, let me play that other clip. All the Maccabean money, all that coins, had the uh, the block Hebrew on it, the Paleo Hebrew, or as, as Israelis call Biblical Hebrew. Right, right. Right. Because that that's what they. Just so you know, if you're talking to an Israeli, if you want to make them understand what you're talking about, you say Biblical Hebrew, and they know what you're talking about. That's what they call the Paleo. They call it Biblical Hebrew, which means yours isn't. Hello, you got Yiddish. Which is a combination of German, Slavic, uh, Slavic languages, and it's made to look Hebrew, but it's, really it's, not. it's written with with uh, with the Assyrian script. Right. But it, so it, it's, it's a German and Slavic uh, language written with Hebrew characters. Right. Matter of fact, I had a definition. Let me let me pull it up where y'all get this. Get, and get verse two. Three millstone, Gabar Adama, Micah two, <laughs> verse two. Campaign. And they covet fields and <laughs> take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. Con Con, if the water for that book, Ak Shalom, that's who that, that's who that who got that book to. Him and that brother, uh, 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 I'm on a bottle. This second Thessalonians two and three. Oh, let God. no man deceive. Let no one deceive you by any means. For that day will not come unless the falling away comes first. Right, so we fell away from our heritage completely. All right, and we went back to what? Psalms 83. Uh, let us uh, make the name of Israel no more be in remembrance, man. That was a part of the crafty council, man. That only befell so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Natives, man. That didn't befall y'all, man. Y'all y'all still know who y'all were, man. Exactly. exactly. All right, you motherfuckers. Yeah, you can't apply Jeremiah 17 and 4 right to, 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 to 1940s incidents. The 48ers, man. You you don't fit that, man. You didn't you didn't get put in on that, man. Abdul Go Gomar Nasser said that. Let's he rebuked him, ain't that his name? <laughs> Abdul Gomar Nasser. Abdul Gomar Nasser, yeah. He rebuked him about that. He said you left him. Uh, I got that. I got you left it. the Holy I got Land. Got that. that too. Or it's like you, you left the Holy Land black and came back white. Here it white. is. There we go. Here's, here's the definition of Yiddish. Of all right. It reads, and I'm going to put it up to the camera, all right? 
but it reads, and this is from the uh, 1933 Winston Simplified uh, Encyclopedia uh, Dictionary, uh, the Winston Simplified Encyclopedia Edition, I mean dictionary, with uh, biblical references, but this is Yiddish. Uh, German, Judas, Jewish, Jew, kind of mixed German and Hebrew language spoken and written and printed in Hebrew characters. Screenshot it for all you people that's watching. You want to screenshot that? We got the receipts, all right? nigga. Yeah, we come with receipts. Come man. with them receipts. And they don't. And that's just it. They don't want. Second Thessalonians two and verse three. Beautiful. I screenshotted it. I had to. Let's go. Write these things down. Keep it. Second Thessalonians two verse three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be a falling away first. And the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Expose him. This word is exposing the crap out of him, man. And now it's just some crybaby stuff, man. You can't withhold the truth. What did what he say in that song? You can fool some people sometimes, but you can't fool all the people all the time. And the scripture said, except those days be shortened, but for the elect's sake. If they could deceive the very elect, if they could, you see that? That's in and that that's an insinuation of hell to the no no no, huh? Zephaniah three verse nine. For then will I turn the people, a uh, turn to the people, a pure language, and they may all call upon the name of the Lord Yahweh to serve Him with one consent. You see, to serve him with one consent that we all speak the same thing, right? Isn't it very clear to see that all of these other camps have taken a purse? It's easy to see it. You know, in, the, in that uh, article that had been sent around the Brotherhood, the ADL, they didn't mention uh, Great Millstone. I wonder why. Because they really coming after us. Again, they, it's clear to see they've taken the purse. That's why they've changed doctrine. They do this. They do that. They say things they ought not. Their mouth must be stopped. See, but how about Shimei Shah has got everybody in a trick bag? Everyone in a trick bag. This is John 13 and verse 35. Red letters, Yahweh Shah speaking. By this shall all men know that ye are my, uh, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. If ye have loved one to another. And what is love? That you keep his commandments to the best of your abilities. See? That you do what you keep his commandments to the best of your abilities. Simon and Peter said unto him, Lord, whether thou go, whether thou goest thou, Yahweh answered him, Whether I go, thou cannot follow me. But thou shalt follow me afterwards. What? Those that come out of great tribulation. OK, the scriptures didn't say that uh, 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 that the, the people, Yahweh, you know, the, the whole 12 tribes was going to go back. And then and, uh, but before that, they were going to own all the banking systems and the whole entire earth. It said the wicked is going to own the earth, the fatness and the dew of heaven. You see, you don't fit these prophecies. You're a liar and you are being called out. You see, you are being called out and you know who you are. Second Ezra 16 and my cat, my, my cat had to say Rah! on that one. But see, we're going to be going. We're we going to roar like a damn lion. Second Ezra 16 and verse 37. I mean, so, so like it, 73. I said that backwards. Then shall they be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. What happens when you put gold in the fire? All the dross and all the nonsense that's up in it gets burnt away and it leaves nothing but pure gold. And so like if you all the pop ups, you know, some of the family just got home and they, you know, they're getting settled in and whatnot. Damn all them pop ups. 
This is about your how about shimmy out shot. Let's go. See? Matter of fact, I want to see if I can get that. Um, let's see, second estrus. Um, let me see how I can do this. Uh, no, it might take too long. I'll just I'll just go ahead and I'll close it out right here. I wanted to get that in a different version. Uh, Exodus 17 and verse 16. For he saith, because the Lord have sworn that the Lord will have will have uh, war with with who? Amalek, the head Edomite tribe, from generation to generation. That's all the dang on time. You see? That's all the time. He's going to have war from generation to generation, where there's a nephew, a great, 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 great grandson, or a damn uh, a, a wife or a child or whatever. See? Salaki for all this. All right. War with Amalek from generation to generation. Hopefully this lesson was edifying. Give it all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily, and a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Chant this place down every chance you get. Yahweh Shai is coming back. And this place is T H R U U U is through DTA and Kwam Yacharala. Wa Ababa Ba. Boom. Shalom.